show you is our AIM help. The AIM is Tutorial Help 101, and just send an IM, and we'll reply back. Okay. So, I'm going to show you that I have Google open in two web browsers, Opera and Mozilla Firefox. So, you're going to want to save page as, so file and save page as, or you can hit control S. Control S will work in any web browser, so. I'm going to exit out of them. Then I have the files. Okay, so you have the files, and one if might be a folder if you saved it with Mozilla Firefox, but if you saved it with Opera or something, it might not be, so. Okay, so you're going to want to go to, a, maybe it will be an internet icon or just a blank page. You're going to want to right-click on it, open with Microsoft Word. And I have Microsoft Word 2007, so it might look different than yours. Okay, and then I have the Google icon right here, so let's rotate it some. Let's make Google all whacked up. Let's change. Well, I'm going to delete that because it won't look like that if I'm not signed in, so. And then let's just do, let's do that and Okay, and then you can change like I Google to you Google. Let's just do that. Let's go with that and let's just mess up with it and then. YouTube, I just changed a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, and then you changed it, and then you're going to want to hit save. I mean, Microsoft Word 2007, like I said, so yours will be different. Save. And then you're going to go back to the file. It might have changed, it might not, it probably did. Open with your internet browser. And if you notice, mine's different. Like, I changed it, and for some reason, like, the Google icon, it didn't go rotated, but who cares? And down here, if you notice, 2019 advertising diagrams, I changed that business resolution effect to Google. Sign up in slash out. And then. Uh, there's just this random word box up here. I don't know why. Okay, so. And then I have the... I'm gonna reset the Google file. So, okay, so I reset the files. And I'm gonna right-click on it. Open with Microsoft Office uh, front page. So then you can change it to design or split or code or preview. So preview will preview the page. So first I'm going to want to let's and then I'm going to go to picture properties general. You can change the picture itself or if it's a video source, you can like make a video there. Let me pick one real quick. Let 
Let's just do... Let's just do a little loop. And then... I'm going to loop it forever. Okay? And then if I was to go to... Preview... I forgot to change something real quick. It's my bad. Yeah, I'm gonna delete the picture. Okay, then preview. And if you notice, I haven't saved it yet in Open inter Internet Browser yet, so it looks like that. I'm gonna save it. Minimize. Open with my Internet Browser. And it didn't do the video like it was supposed to, but if you make a video that will work, you can put it in there. And, oops, I had page properties on my bed, picture properties, and... Let's just change the video to something a little bit smaller. I don't know if this will work, but let me just try the same thing again real quick. Make it real big and see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to save it. Go back to my internet browser, refresh, let's see what happens. And just comes up with a big blob. So, if you want to change the background to like a black, you just go back to design, right click, page properties, background, black, text, change to white, hyperlink, let's change those to green, visited, yellow, active, let's just leave red. Okay. And then if you notice all the hyperlinks changed and stuff, and let's just delete that element right there. And then save. Go back, refresh it, and now you've got a black Google. And you can make this your home page by just doing like you would normally do, by going to like your tools or options. Then you can also use this to rename the stuff like we did with Microsoft Word, so...